In this video, we're going to take a look at a final piece of game theory and a final type of games called routing games. To define a routing game, we need a graph with a set of sources and sinks, a commodity R, so for every pair of source and sinks, a quantity of traffic that has to get from the source to the sink, and then a set of latencies, so for every um, edge on our graph, we need to have how much that ed edge costs. And so here is a game. This game is called Pigou's Example. So we have one commodity, so units of traffic one that can be, uh, it's non-atomic, so it can be devised up, that needs to go from this source to this sink. And what we also have is the latency for this edge, which is simply always one, and the latency for this edge is simply the quantity of traffic that goes through here. And so our problem is akin to finding an alpha, um, which says how much of the traffic must go along this edge and how much of the traffic must go along this edge. Now, what we do is we write down the cost function. This is basically equivalent to an average cost across edges. Because what we have here is the cost based on the quantity of traffic that goes across edge E multiplied by the quantity of traffic that goes across um, edge E. And so if alpha was 0.75, our flow would be 0 0.75, 0 0.25, and we could write down our cost. So it's simply the top edge, um, the cost of the top edge with 0.75 traffic on it, which is just 1, multiplied by 0.75, plus the cost of the traffic with 0.25 traffic going on it, which would just be 0.25 multiplied by 0.25. So we get uh, the cost is 0.8. Now, an optimal flow is some flow that minimizes that cost function. So to do this, we write down our cost function as a function of the flow. And a little bit of uh, basic calculus shows us that the value of alpha that minimizes that function is uh, 0.5. And so our optimal flow, f star, is 0.5.5. But if half the traffic was going along the top edge and half the traffic was going on the bottom edge, the traffic that's going along the top edge, they're, they're having an hour worth of um, commute to work, so a, a unit one worth of commute to work, whereas the quantity of traffic going along this smaller shortcut, they just have half an hour. So everyone on this top road would actually deviate their strategy and start using the bottom one. And this is what defines a Nash flow. And this gives us a Nash flow. A Nash flow F tilde is basically a flow such that all used paths, so all used sets of edges from sources to sinks, are minimal. So as long as FP1 is actually used, then the cost of FP1 must be less than or equals to the cost of any other um, path. And what in this instance this basically means is that all used paths must have the same cost. And so here we can see that to do this, we would in fact have alpha equals zero, everyone uses the bottom path at a cost of 1, and so our, our optimal, uh, our Nash flow would have a value of 0 and 1. 